I'm going to show you how to create a simple dashboard in Dynamics GP using Excel reports. A few months ago, I did a simple dashboard for a client of mine. I want to take a look at it right here. Here's the dashboard. This is relatively easy to do. And what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to create a dashboard just like this. And we're going to use refreshable Excel reports that come with Dynamics version 10.0. Let's take a look at it. Go over to Dynamics here. And I've got my Excel reports in the administrative area under other reports. This is going to bring up the basically 200 standard reports that come with Dynamics GP version 10.0. I'm going to use three of these to create my dashboard. And the first one I'm going to use is going to be Customers Past Due. So let's pull that one up. I'm going to use this one right here, and I'm going to print that out to Excel. This is going to be the basis for my report. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rename this as Dashboard, so we can refer to it. I'm also going to add a tab for Dashboard. Let's do that. Let's rename this one here. Okay. Now let's get busy. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a graph based on a pivot table. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to insert a pivot table. That'll create a new sheet. And I'm going to use these aging buckets here. I'm going to pull them down. I have to go through here and change the value settings to sum. So I'll do that now. I can also, if I want to, change these titles up here. So let's just do that. All right, now to get a new graph, it's easy to do. Sort of column graph here. And let's pull this one here. It's going to create a new graph for me. Here it is. I'm going to send that to my dashboard page. So I'm going to move the chart, move it over to dashboard. And there we go. So I've got my first component. Now what I'm going to add to this is some customer information and some vendor information. So let's go back to Dynamics GP. We'll pull that information up. And I'm going to use one called Customer Balance. Let's use that ex refreshable Excel report. Here it is. Let's move that to Excel. It's going to create a new worksheet. I'm going to copy and paste this to my dashboard sheet. Create a new page here for it. Pull it there. Now what I'm going to do is I want to restrict this to the top 10. I'm going to sort it by the largest to smallest. And then I'm going to restrict it to the top 10 customers. All right. Now what I want to do is go over to my dashboard page. And I'm going to start my customer list here. I'm going to reference back to that customer information right there. Let me copy and paste this down to 10. And over three. There we go. Now I've got my customer information. Let's take a look at the vendors now. We're going to add those. Let's go back to Dynamics and add vendor balance. I'm going to select this one here. Basically, do the same thing. I'm going to copy and paste that over to my dashboard sheet. Do the same thing and restrict that to the top 10. There we go. Go back to my dashboard. I'm going to reference that list. Here. Do some simple formatting here. Put some labels on it. Okay. And I'm going to let you 
do the rest of the formatting here. It's a quick trick I like. Now I'm done with my basic dashboard. What you can do from this is you can format it any way you want to. You can hide these tabs down here that you don't need. But what I really like about this is that it's going to create the connections to the data. You can see the three pieces of data that I'm pulling from Dynamics GP. At any point in time, I can refresh that data by hitting Refresh All. It's going to go out to GP, pulling the new data. Now I can take the spreadsheet. I can use it for myself. I can send it to other people. They'll have access to the data. And this is a really good way to distribute information from Dynamics GP to other people and also put it in a friendly format such as a dashboard. So if you haven't used refreshable reports in Excel, please start using those right now. And also try to experiment a little bit with Excel. I think you'll really like it as a reporting tool.